hi so it has been a week since i got word that the ivf was not going to work because my ovaries were being stubborn little buggers and just did not want to be stimulated so what's now i got a letter from the clinic just laying out what had happened which i already knew um, and they gave me some advice as to what else I could try before I go again. So I could actually start again in about six weeks but when I did the math and I, I looked at the calendar and looked at my diary I realised that um, that would fall right in. Um, it would fall like time for egg retrieval and stuff like that would be right when I would be on holiday um, in June. I'm going to Fort Ventura for two weeks in June, so that kind of was out of the question. So I wasn't going to be able to start again until June, regardless. Now, they've recommended something called DHEA. It's a supplement that you can't buy in the UK, but you can buy over the internet. And that's meant to help boost your AMH levels, which is what's causing the problem with me, um, which is why I'm not reacting to the, the stimulants because of low AMH. So, and they recommend you try that for three months. So it actually worked out quite well timings wise. So that was quite, quite good. Um, so I am going to buy that this week when I get paid. Um, I'm also going to focus on losing weight. Now, I've already lost 30 pounds from when I started to try and lose weight last year, so I'm quite proud of that. I lost four pounds last week, but that was because I was sick. On Tuesday, I got really sick, and I was sick for about three days. So it's not a diet I would recommend, but it was very effective. So, yeah, next three months, I'm just going to focus on losing weight. Um, I will swim because I am quite um, restricted physically as to what I can do because of my back and my leg. Um, so it will probably focus more on swimming and I'm going to try and make a, a bigger effort of taking the dogs out for a walk because the two little ones need to lose weight. Um, Leo especially, we took him to the vets last week to get his uh, immunisations and he's put on two kilos so for a little dog that is a heck of a big weight gain so they need to be exercised more so that's something else I can focus on is trying to make a bigger effort in getting these dogs out for a walk to get them uh, to lose weight with me so I will just watch what I eat um, more fruit and veg um, and besides, I'm going on holiday in June, so you always want to have a better body for when you, you're lying by the pool in a bikini, getting a lovely tan, which is what I love to do on my holidays. So, uh, yeah. Can't really do anything IVF-wise, but I am still going to try and do something towards it, which, you know, keeps it present in mind. And it also, I'm not just sitting waiting, counting days down, because that will drive me nuts. So this week I am working until Wednesday, today's Monday, and I, I am off over Easter, not back in until the following Tuesday, which is quite nice. So on Thursday I am going to go shopping in town. I haven't done that at all this year. I've been absolutely brassic. So I get paid, get my student loan through, so I'm going to treat myself with a couple of things that I need. Um, I need to buy some more bookcases because my DVD uh, storage area is full again. I have over 1600 DVDs. I do like movies and books as well. My books, so I need to buy, buy a couple of DVDs, a couple of bookcases, which I will put up on Thursday. I've got a door to hang, a sliding door to hang in my room. Um, I've finished off gutting the place, so on Thursday I'm going to vlog again. Leo's going for a haircut, which will be nice because he's a bit of a scruffy bugger at the minute. So on Thursday I shall vlog my day and uh, I will catch up with you guys again soon. So keep safe and keep smiling. Take care.